welcome to Edifying Moments for Better Forever. We are so glad that you join us. You make certain that you pay real close attention for the next few minutes. Something that we're going to say is going to change your marriage for the better. Amen. But first, let me go ahead and pray. Father, I thank you for everybody that's listening, thank everybody you, that's watching. I thank you, Lord, that you're changing their marriage for the better. Yes. Thank you, Lord, that you're using thank Rhonda you. and I to bring healing, health, and wisdom to the lives of your people. In Jesus', Jesus name, name, amen. Glory to God. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. We've been using the scriptures because we believe that if you simply live according to the word, you just be a disciple, just be a Christian, your marriage will be outstanding. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5, of course, I'm going to read it in the King James, and my wife can't wait to read it out of the Passion. So uh, 3, 5 says... Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thy own understanding. This is a verse that we have been uh, talking about for a long time. So it tells you the first thing, don't trust yourself. Don't trust yourself. Trust the Lord. And after that, he wants you to give all of your mind, all of your soul to him. Stop leaning on your own understanding. Stop going back to the lessons that you learned from Nene and Papa and, and all of those people. He said, look, I want you to lean on me. I want you to do what I say do. Follow my examples. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding. Amen. Amen. As it relates um, to our relationship, as it relates to your marriage, um, our understanding can be a little foggy. Our understanding can be a little twisted. Our understanding is so whirly. Um, and, and because we've gotten most of our understanding from the world's point of view. I've, you've taken uh, marriage to, listen, this, just look at today's marriages. Uh, we got all types of marriages going on out there. And so we have to be careful that we don't lead to our, you see how far our own understanding. It will take us to places we never thought we ever could ever go. But if we if we tune in to what the scripture is saying is don't lead to your understanding because your understanding, I'm going to tell you straight up, is warped. Your understanding is ungodly. Your understanding don't have Christ nowhere in the play. So you have to lean in and find out what's God's perspective as it relates to marriage, as it relates to relationships, as it relates to everything that's pertaining to God's word, my new life that I now live. We talk, we, we're using non-marriage scriptures to share about marriage. And that's because we believe if you love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, if you love your neighbor as yourself, you can have a beautiful marriage. You can have a marriage that people dream of. Mm -hmm. But you have to submit your will to God's ways of doing things. And we have to get rid of the world's way of thinking. Um, I want to read it out of the Passion. It says, trust in the Lord completely, Jesus, and do not rely on your own opinions. With all your heart, Rely on him to guide you. So it's saying right there, it's saying everywhere you see heart, you should put soul mm -hmm. with all your soul. Rely on him to guide you. And he will lead you in every decision you make. God will lead you in every decision you make as it pertains to your relationship, as it pertains to your marriage, as it pertains to the finances in the house as it pertains to the children, as it pertains to your job, everything that relates to your marriage, if you lead not to your understanding, if you allow God to lead your soul and not dwell on your opinion, your ways of thinking, your ways of doing things, the world ways of doing things. Hey, let me, let me say it even though, the TV way of doing things. Uh, uh, that's not how they do it on TV. Let me tell you something, y'all. The TV, they actors. It's fake. Mm -hmm. It ain't real. This is the real life. This is living the real life. That's, that's fake. 
That's reality. That's that's what is the reality marriage? No, this is the real reality. This is living day by day, life application day by day, leading not to your own ways of thinking. Trust in the Lord. It didn't say trust in the Lord a little bit. It didn't say trust in the Lord a tiny bit. It didn't say trust in the Lord sometimes. It said trust in the Lord completely in everything that you do. And it says, don't rely on your own opinions. If I can get anything over to you today, not to rely on your own opinion when, as it relates to your relationship with your spouse. Don't want to rely on it. Find it in God's word. Because I, I guarantee you, anything that you're dealing with in your marriage, it's in the word. Yeah. I guarantee you that. I can take that to the bank. Anything concerning your marriage is in God's word. It also says, with, your, with all your soul, rely on him to guide, you, to guide you, and he will lead you in every decision that you will make. That means every single area in your marriage, God will lead you. Whew. I can preach all day on that. <laughs> that it's not about you. It's about you trusting in him. It's about you leaning on him. It's not about anything else. So don't take it personal, but you don't know enough. Uh, in order for your marriage to be a good, because we're talking about the Christian or the discipleship, uh, the godly way to live. Right? There's other ways that, you know, the world got different things that they do, uh, but we're talking about relying and depending upon what God says. And in order to do that, you have to get into his word. You can't trust him if you don't know him. You don't know him unless you read. If you don't read, you don't know. So it's very important for you to know him, to trust him, to lean on him. He has the answers for you. So stop trying to go at it by yourself. Yeah. You're not going to get anywhere for it. All right. Give me one last thought. Don't. And don't trust in your friend's opinion, not just your opinion. You, you go ask your friend that, that you know they're not getting along at home. Then you're going to go tell your friend about your relationship that's going on. Come on, man. Don't trust in their opinion. Trust in God's opinion as everything that he has to say. Anything related to my husband, I'm going to find it in God's scripture. I'm going to find it in the word of God. And guess what? I'm not even going to take it to my husband. I'm going to take it to the master. I'm going to say, Lord, I'm having a little issue right here. Give me your wisdom on it. And then I'm going to turn to Proverbs, and Proverbs, Proverbs going to break it down for me. It's going to tell me how idiot, my idiot think it is to believe that I, I, I want it that way. It, it reminds me that that's your opinion. It reminds me that's not my way. My way says to do this. My way says to... to uh, answer my husband with a soft answer to respond and not to react to situations i'm learning how to react i've learned how to respond and not to react when he when he presents things to me i gotta know how to respond properly so that i can get a, a good answer back but no we want to do it the world say what you talking to me like that? who you talking to nah that's not godly that's not the way god has it set up for us to, to honor our husbands, so I, for us to give them their honor that's due to them. I have to know how to respond to him properly. You know, everything that I need to do as a woman is, is right here. So we need to take the time and find out to trust in the Lord completely. I can't say it enough. Trust in the Lord completely. Glory Amen. to God. So Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto all of your marriage committees. <laughs> Don't lean to them. All right. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seven. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Life Construction Church, building the kingdom of God, one, one life, life at, at a time. time. Life Construction, building life for the kingdom.